and I am full of nothing and pain. Who fills my thumping, bumping brain? Hey there, you all right? This isn't exactly a tourist attraction right now. Yeah, I'm fine. I just got here and found this... chaos. What happened? Monsters, if you can believe it. Came out of nowhere, tore through the place like a tornado with teeth. I'm Sheriff Anderson. We're trying to keep everyone safe and figure out what we're dealing with. Is there anything I can do to help? You've got experience with these things? Well, I won't turn down an extra set of hands. We've got missing people, and I need to organize search parties and secure the village. Any leads on where these monsters came from or what they want? Not a clue. They seem to be attacking at random. We found the first victims here at the gas station. Good folks, they didn't stand a chance. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you noticed any patterns or weaknesses in the monsters? They're tough, that's for sure. But they seem to recoil from bright light and loud noises. We're still working on a solid strategy. I'll keep that in mind. Do you have a place where survivors are gathering? I can start there and see how I can assist. Yes, we've set up a temporary shelter at the community center. My deputy, Sarah, is coordinating things over there. Em, she's in a white shirt. Can't miss her. Footed. Tell her I sent you, and she'll get you up to speed. Got it. I'll head over and check in with Deputy Sarah. Stay safe, Sheriff. You too. And hey, watch your back. These monster... They're nothing like we've ever seen before. that you are merely dreaming of a world where birds do not talk? That's, uh, that's absurd. Is it? Consider the dreamer who dreams, then lives inside the dream. But who is to say which is the dreamer, and which is the dream? That's... I don't understand. Perhaps you are not meant to. Perhaps understanding is not the point. Perhaps the point is to question, to wonder, to explore the boundaries of what you believe to be true. But why? Why would a bird be telling me this? Why not? Is it not possible that I am merely a reflection of your own thoughts? Your own questions? Perhaps I am not a bird at all, but a mirror, showing you the depths of your own mind. That's... that's too much. I can't... Ah, but you can. You are capable of so much more than you realize. You are capable of questioning, of wondering, of exploring. You are capable of understanding, even when understanding seems impossible. I... I need to think. And so you shall. But remember, the world is not always as it seems. And neither are you. I'm having trouble with the ammunition. Can you help? Of course. I need shotgun shells. Take it.
I must be dreaming. Oh, a talking bird. This is unbelievable. Oh, my dear friend, you are not dreaming. I am as real as the wind that rustles the leaves. Now, would you like to hear a story? A story? From a bird? This I have to hear. Go on, then. Very well. Once upon a time, in the vast steppes of Kazakhstan, there was a mischievous goat named Karat. Karat was known for his love of apples, and he would do anything to get his hooves on them. A goat that loves apples? That's unusual. Indeed it is. But Karat was no ordinary goat. One day, he spotted a shiny red apple hanging from a tree in a farmer's orchard, but the tree was surrounded by a high fence. Kyrat, being the clever goat he was, decided to use a trampoline that the farmer's children had left out. A goat using a trampoline? You're pulling my leg. I assure you I am not. Karat hopped onto the trampoline, and with a mighty leap, he soared over the fence and landed right next to the apple tree. But just as he was about to take a bite, the apple fell off the tree and rolled away. So what did Kyrat do? Well, Kyrat chased after the apple, but it kept rolling away. It rolled down a hill, across a field, and finally into a river. Kyrat, not wanting to lose his precious apple, jumped into the river and swam after it. A swimming goat now? The story keeps getting better and better. Kyrat swam and swam, but the apple kept floating away. Finally, after what seemed like hours, Kyrat managed to catch up to the apple. But just as he was about to grab it, a fish jumped out of the water and swallowed the apple whole. No way, that's hilarious. Kyrat was so shaked, he could only stare as the fish swam away with his apple. And from that day on, Kyrat learned to enjoy the apples in his own pasture. And never again did he try to steal from the farmer's orchard. That's a great story, Blackbird. I never thought I'd hear a tale like that from a bird. Well, my dear friend, the world is full of surprises. And who knows, maybe one day you'll meet Kyrat himself. I'm having trouble with the ammunition. Can you help? Of course. I need shotgun shells. Take it. Blackbird. Uh, greetings, player. Have you heard about the book Journey to the Edge of Night? No, I haven't. What's it about? Uh, it's a fascinating tale, filled with mystery, adventure, and a touch of the supernatural. It's about a man's journey into the unknown 
facing his deepest fires and discovering his true self. Sounds interesting. Can you tell me more? Of course. Okay, that's a bit vague. Can you be more specific? Ah, but where's the... I suppose so. But can you at least tell me if it's a happy or sad ending? Ah, uh, now that's a... That's not really helpful, Blackbird. Ah, uh, but isn't that... I guess so. But I'd still like to know more about the book. Well, in that case... All right, Blackbird. I'll give it a shot. Excellent. I'm... I'm having trouble with the ammunition. Can you help? Of course. I need bullets for a revolver. Taking it?